Hello, it's Kay in front of the camera. Hello, I'm Maggie behind. And welcome to Camelot. Ooh. Okay, we're going to put our Camelot box together. And you get obviously get a bag of bits. <laughs> uh, you get your, your um, magnets. We're coming in a sheet like this at the moment, so we thought this is the most easiest way of um, giving, getting them to you. So if they come on a sheet like that, and all you do is, is literally break the seal like that and you just peel these off as you go down. So the magnets are nice and secure until you need them. Okay, so we need those Genius. in a minute. Uh, you get bits for your box. You get these um, in a sheet like that. So I've untabbed them, and these are our hinge spacers for this, because they're narrower than the one, eight, uh, one quarter of an inch ones we have. Mm. So that, so you need to something slightly smaller, so this comes in the kit for that. And don't chuck them away, because you can use them again. You can use them again, they won't last yep. forever, they're, uh, yeah. they're, because they're quite thin there, but they yeah. won't last for this, for this project, and you might be able to get a few more uh, albums out of it if you're lucky. Okay, so you end up with, you've got your base, You've got um, a spine, you've got a top, and you've got a flap. So, what, so the top comes like this, and it's tabbed on the back. And if you untab it, you get a frame. If you want to, you can have the box as it is. If you don't untab it, you can cover it and use it as a solid base if you want to. But you get, so you have that to do something with if you wanted to. Um, and you get a plastic sheet, which fits in like that. So you can have that underneath and that's framed. So you can put something underneath that so you get a nice plastic sheet on there. So it looks like a shiny thing. So it comes in a sheet like this. I've already taken the backing off of that one. And you just peel the backing off both sides to get it clear. So it protects it. So, 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 there you go. So you can peel, peel both, both bits off and you, and you get a clear piece of plastic, hopefully, like so. Okay? Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to put this together. The first thing to do is, on the flap, you've got a piece of light board with holes in it for your magnets, and it fits over like that. So you're going to, so it fits exactly like that. So you're going to put a piece of tape across the top. So I'm using, I'm using our Pro Tape for this. And what's our Pro Tape? It's our super strong double-sided acid-free tape. It is, I said that without even moving my lips. I okay. know, it's very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who knew? There you go. Right, so you put a bit of tape on here, and you can add a bit more glue around the side. You just take these off. I've done that, nope. Have you burnished it, Kev? No, I haven't burnished it. I need um, a tool. So it's right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hide, hiding in plain sight. <laughs> so I get a burnish and hopefully that will come off. We're just using a knife. There we go. So that comes off there. And you can put a little bit more glue on here if you wanted to. So if you open your glue up. So you can use bookbinding glue. I'm just using a bit of speed bond, but bookbinding glue is fine. Just to do this on either side. And you're sticking this down. So obviously the curves match here. And then you have your sticky bit here because that's where you're going to put your magnets in a minute. Oh, genius. So. Let's go like that. Uh, it goes across like that. Okay. And then you peel your magnets off and put those on. You want three there. Like so. Okay, so that's ready then to assemble your frame. So you've got your frame there, you've got your spine, and then you've got your base. So I'm going to put these together, and if you want to edge this with um, pen, I will do this piece now because if you're using our Pebio marker pen, which is here, it it doesn't overwet the um, MDF, so it won't swell. So if you wanted to, I'll show you what I mean. Is this put your marker across like that? I'll just do one. Well, I might as well do the whole side end, I suppose. <laughs> as I've got this far. Okay, so it does make life easier. And it gives you a beautiful finish as well. So, it goes like that. The side. Okay, so you can do that first. And then your box bits, 
you might as well just do that as well because that makes life easier for you later as well. So on the inside. So that will fit on the inside there. Make sure I get the orientation right so it fits on the inside there. So I need to because these these pens are great, but they are quite thick and getting into corners isn't necessarily that easy, so that'll fit into there like so, and then we'll So if you do this first, if you got, it's as if you're using the pen, you don't have to use the pen. You can use paint if you wanted to, you can paint these if you wanted to. Paint them after you've assembled it yeah. probably. So what I'll do is I'll just do that to those corners as well, now I've thought about it. So these are ready to go for later. Okay, so they're ready to go for later. So that's only if you're using the pen. Okay, so we can use your frame tape. And then you put this on about a third of your frame tape. So it's exactly the same way as we do our albums. So about like that, press that down. And you put your hinge spacer there and here. And then put your spine in. So it butts up. So you know then it's going to be straight across here and here. Can you see that? Yeah, we can beautifully. Okay, we could do. It's not fluffing around. It means it's absolutely precise. So the bottom edges and top edges are, are in alignment and your hinge gap will be exactly so, the same. So it's straight there and, it's str and then the, the gap's the same all the way down. And take those bits off. And it locks in, it's like it almost locks into place. So if you've got dexterity issues or anything, once you've got them in place, you can trust them, can't you? You can. Okay, and then put that down, bring that across. And you can either cut this or tear. I tend to prefer to tear these actually, because you get it blends in. Blends in better. It blends in better. So just tear that off. And obviously, then you'll give it a big burnish. And particularly if Maggie's behind the camera, otherwise you get shins. Well, it's really funny because you always burnish with the flat end. Oh, at that end, and you do yeah, the other side. Yeah, and I always do it with the other end. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. So well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as it gets burnished, yeah, that's the main thing. Doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Okay, so you can see you're not, you've got a nice, a nice gap there, and that will just sit like that, which is what it's supposed to do. Okay, and then you want to attach this to this, which is exactly the same. So you get your tape over, bring this over, just like that, and put your tape across, and then put your hinge spaces in place, and then your frame in, and drop that down. Just make sure that's it. everything's even. Push those down and press that. Take these away, and then switch that down, and then bring that across. And again, I'll tear that. And then a bit of burnish. Okay. You want to make sure you don't dig into those bits because you don't want to tear your paper. This is, is it, um, unlike the Architate, which is cloth based, this is paper, so it's a bit more, a bit more fragile. Turn it over, give it a bunch of that side. And I'll just squish it down with my finger to, to get the seam. Okay, so that goes across like that. And then we'll put this piece on. Right, this, is where, this is why you put the um, light board on first and the magnets because you might end up covering some of them with the tape. Now the so. tape that Kay is using, when you get your tape from us, it won't have the lines, that, the diagonal lines that you can see on it. I was, I got, I got, I was allowed to reject one. <laughs> Kay's <laughs> using a reject one. We're, we're very tight. <laughs> but um, that's, that's how, you know, that's not, not good enough to go out. So, um, no, it's, a, but it's, it's good, it's good for enough Kay. for us. It's good. Good. Yeah, it's good enough for Kay, I have to say. But I'd hate you to think that that's how your tape came to you because it won't. It will, it will, it will, it will be much nicer. But once it's squished in, it doesn't make that much yeah, difference. Yeah, and if you go with the there. really flat spatula end, I think it will go completely flat anyway. I'll right, squish that on there like that. Okay, so that's your box done. So give that a bit of a burnish down that side. Yeah, you can see the lines coming out. Okay, I'll turn that over. 
which isn't like that. Okay, so that is your box outside. And then we're going to put a little bit in. So I've obviously, I've done those before, so they're going to fit in like that, like that, and squidge it in like that. So if you do all of these at the same time, it's a bit of a juggle, juggling them around, but they do fit in. So, a, so yeah, this should fit in nicely. That's it. Right, that in. was the click then. And then when Karen demos our stuff, she you always do. says, wait, wait for, for the, the click, click and it goes in perfectly. <laughs> okay, at this point I'll probably use a little bit of our... Um, Tiger tape, so orange tiger tape, um, which is repositionable tape that doesn't mark um, delicate surfaces, but just to hold that in place to keep it nice and square. But I would actually glue it. So now I'll show you how to do it, I'll now glue it in place. So, will glue come out? Yes, glue will come out. And all our videos. <coughs> Me. are in real time so this is how as we're doing it there's nothing speeded up or <laughs> anything like that there's definitely nothing speeded <laughs> <laughs> well occasionally, occasionally i do i do if, if, you, do, you do if something. it's like repeating something but if you're just building something up we try and keep it in real time so yeah. you know how long it's going to take it might take you a lot less time actually because you won't be you probably be a bit quicker than i am Okay, that fits in there like that. Let's put this one on. Actually, watching me put glue on is probably the most time consuming part of the whole thing. And that's it, and that goes in like that. Okay, so that fits in like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just for a second or two. Not going to be there long because I'm going to need to put. You need to put something else in there just to square it up. Okay, and then I'll leave that just for a few minutes. So it fits over like that and like that. And you want obviously you want your magnets here as well. So while that's setting, I'm just going to show you that you can put your plastic in like this. Now obviously I would what I would do then is decorate it first before you put your plastic in. So what I'm going to show you how to put it in is with a little bit of tacky wax. So instead of using tape, I'm just going to use tacky wax, literally just to show you how to, how to fit it in. So when it's finished, because I might want to decorate this before I put the. Um, but normally you could use double-sided tape. Yeah, double-sided tape. Like that, so I'm going to put a bit there and a little bit here. No, sip of water. Excuse me. It's vodka actually. But she says it's water, but. <laughs> <laughs> or more likely to be gin. It is more likely to be gin. Okay, so that's just that's just going to keep that in place so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Beautiful. Okay. <coughs> that is such useful <coughs> stuff, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to take this off now. And I'll show you how to put the um, other side of the magnets together. So just put that to one side for a sec, and then you have this piece here. So the holes are going to go at the top, and you want to put a, again a piece of uh, tape across the holes. So our per, uh, pro school tape is perfect for this. And give it a burnish. As I seem to have fat fingers today, I'll just do it with a knife because it'll be quicker. Okay. And if you've got a little bit like that, just tuck it in the side like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue just to keep it in place. So on this bit here, so what I'm going to do is stick this onto here like that. So it should just fit in flush. Like that, I can't see what I'm doing, but I think that's it. Feels flush, so I think it looks flush. Do you have the um, okay. light board right up flush to the top edge? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's that to the front, and it should fit in nicely there. Yeah, does it? It, 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 looks it, it, it feels like it fits in yeah. there. Okay, so what to do then? You obviously, you want to line up your your um magnets will line up, but you want to make sure you get your polarities correct. So, what I do 
is put them onto each the other magnets like that So I now know that those are the correct polarity. So I can slide that off and put that in there like that. Okay, that's a tape from the carrier, so don't worry about that. You don't, that's not gonna make any difference at all. So slide that one off, bring it up and put it on like that. And this one, slide it off and bring it in like that. But the fact you've got the tape from the carrier there on all three shows you've got the right polarity, doesn't it? Yeah, so that fits like that. So you can Perfect. fit that like that. So what you can do is either you can put a piece of paper um, directly over that if you wanted to, but just to make sure that the magnets don't move, you can just put a little piece of that tape across the top and that just silts them in place. And then blend that in. So when you decorate it, if you're do doing it with papers, you probably don't need to do this piece, but if you're if you're painting it, I'll probably just put the strips of this across and then paint over the top. And that way you know your magnets are going to stay where they're meant to be. And that is your box. So take so simple as that, and you can decorate it as you wish. And don't forget to show us. Yeah. Oh, and we forgot to say, most importantly, the Camelot box oh, holds an Arthur, Arthur. folio or a an Merlin album. Courtesy of Paul Ford. <laughs> Okay, thank you for watching and let's see yours. Bye. Bye.